Coming up on Press This, Wu Themes goes back to the dojo with their new plugin, Sensei. We'll take a look at it from an in-depth preview uh, of the uh, number one uh, WordPress courseware slash education plugin. Coming up on the next Press This. Coming up on this episode of Press This, Dan and I talk about Sensei. Wait a minute, is it like this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sensei is the newest <laughs> plugin uh, from WooCommerce, uh, Woo Themes, sorry, and they were going to have a plugin all about teaching courseware, running educational programs. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. And Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. This Absolutely. is the show where we take awesome WordPress plugins, put them head to head to kind of see who's the, who's the winner. Uh, what's the outcome's going to be, how you can use these plugins in your day-to-day -day business, uh, except on this episode where we only take a look at one, one. Uh, featured theme uh, from the guys over at WooThemes. Yeah. Subscribe, please. We want to hit 500 subscriptions on YouTube. We're at halfway mark halfway right now. Uh, if you see 500, we want 5,000. Slocumstudio.com <laughs> slash subscribe to jump on the mailing list where this guy is going to share some awesome news with you. You got it. Let's jump right into it. Jump right into it. Sensei. Sensei. Teaching and coursework <coughs> on the WordPress platform from Woo Themes. So it's a brand new, brand new plugin brand out there. New. And it's really, really cool. So if you've ever, you know, if you're a professor or you're just somebody who needs sort of educational uh, supplements for your, your, your you know, clients or even for your in-house employees or staff. Lots of situations where you, there's just something that people need to know how to do. Um, this is a great way and a very easy way, which is important, although we'll talk about a little bit about intricacies a little later, um, to get that to happen. So a great way to create a simple website to teach people how to how to do something. Yeah. Um, if you're in web marketing and you're trying to grow your business, you should know that education is probably like the number one thing right now. Yeah. Uh, people who is who have been taking their years of knowledge mm -hmm. and saying, look, my normal business, my n normal brick and mortar business still runs, but I'm going to take it to the web and I'm going to train people on how mm -hmm. to do what I do, making pizzas, yeah. um, you know, cleaning cats yeah. uh, or <laughs> carpets, stuff like that. Right. Um, and the fine folks of Woo Themes put it together, plug in to help these people do that all for the low low price of 79 bucks 79 bucks and of course true to typical woo themes way there are three pricing options we have your 79 dollars single license your 129 dollar five user license which you always debate is a whether or not that's a good thing or not obviously it is they they keep it they keep including it mm -hmm. uh and of course your unlimited developer license which is 279 dollars mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I mean, either it's probably, I mean, they know the numbers. It's probably a bunch of people buying the 79 and, yeah. and a whole bunch of people buying the 279. Yeah. Or maybe we're totally wrong in 129. Yeah, we, don't is their those, we don't have those numbers. So. We don't have those numbers. <laughs> um, but l let's take a look at this. It's the only uh, WordPress educational courseware plugin that I know of. Uh, uh, um, it, it actually, I've never even thought about doing it because we've been so fixated on content mm -hmm. um, membership plugins right that you know we were never thinking boy what how do you act once these people are in once these people are members how do you how do you train them how do you yep. run a course yeah um, our typical thought process was well you just make them pay for content yep. and then just you know vomit the content on, <laughs> onto the page or blog post right. and here you go right this plugin is actually going to allow you to structure courses, structure lessons within those courses, mm -hmm. and then either put videos right. up or, or right. PDFs and then actually run a little quiz that people have to pass at the end to actually advance to the next course. Right, which is very cool. And those are the only two options you're running with are courses and lessons. So basically, um, I believe it's you, you have your main courses and you can choose whether or not you want to make them paid or not paid. You can integrate them with WooCommerce uh, to a degree. Uh, but that's it. So you have a course and then within the course, you have a bunch of lessons and that's how you sort of organize it. They have all kinds of cool support. As you mentioned, they have questionnaires, things like that. There's text entry spots. There's even an embed link for video. So if you want to basically put like a tutorial video in there and then say, okay, I hope you were watching, you know, what, what did you learn? Yep. You know, yep. you can do that as well. Um, so we, in our last episode, we reviewed the WooCommerce, uh, I keep saying WooCommerce, the WooTheme slider. Yep. Um, when I reached out to the guys, I said, hey, look, uh, we're reviewing this. We, we're, your hot topic with us is always WooCommerce. We get tons of people asking about WooCommerce. Right. 
can we get a license for the, the slider so we can review it? They said, yeah, no problem. And oh, by the way, check out Sensei. Right. Um, you know, and, and here's, a, here's a license for that. So I, and, and full disclosure, the co-founder Mark said, I really want you to take, I really want to dive into it and, and give us the hard feedback. Um, you know, tell us how it's working. Does it work? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Well, so far, I really like it. Yeah, it's really neat. Um, so let's run down some of the theme, the things that they claim uh, the plugin sure. uh, does. Sure. Uh, it's theme independent. Yep. It's easy uh, to create this content. Right. Quick mm -hmm. user registration right. uses the actual WordPress registration. Right. Uh, sell courses online with WooCommerce. Yeah. So all, all the good stuff in there. And of course, just like all their other stuff as well, they embed it completely with into the code of, of WordPress or into the main WordPress, you know, post pages, which may or may not be a good thing um, in some cases. Uh, but it's it's really neat. Rather than like a magic members we talked about, which I know is kind of irrelevant to the point of this, but where it's its own separate, lit, you know, sort of little ecosystem within WordPress, it's very much tied into WordPress. Yeah. So if you're comfortable with that, you're be very comfortable creating this. Yeah, this was easy. Work. This was easy to install. Um, I could figure out we, we could figure out where everything was. It was yeah, very yeah. streamlined. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, it's only two custom post types, yep. lessons and courses. Yep. Um, all options for each of those individual. Yep. Pieces of content were on the actual individual pages for each, yep. meaning you go into a course yep. and you can create lessons <clears throat> and attach a price to that course right. and vice versa. You go into lessons and attach it to courses. Right, right, right. Um, prerequisite courses was also a nice touch. Really I thought neat. that was pretty good. Really neat. Um, so it's obvious that they were testing things out and running it through some kind of, um, you know, user beta testing right. for them to even think that far ahead to which, say we need really cool. prerequisites in there. Absolutely. Um, Definitely going after the education system here. And I, I don't see why not. Right. Uh, so some of the negatives that we kind of run yeah. into, and it's probably a harsher word than it should be. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> they're not that negative. Right. I mean, you and I were both looking at the, we're looking at, I believe, the uh, the options page, for example. And it was, you know, there, there were different, you know, they'd have like check marks, check boxes here and like text forms here and things like that. So it was a little clunky of an interface for the options screen, but there wasn't a whole lot going on there. So I can... Yeah. So it's sort of forgivable. It, it was just one page yeah, of, just, of all the settings. Right. That's that's being kind of picky. I'm used to seeing the Woo th yeah. Commerce menu system yeah. where you have the tab tabulation at the top. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very, very minimal. Um, although we couldn't seem to get it working hundred yeah. percent with WooCommerce, um, so that right. you could actually have a paid course. I mean it was super easy. You created the course, you literally uh, you created the product in WooCommerce, then you created your course, mm -hmm. and then while you're in that course, you simply click and select which product it matches right, up to. Right. Um, theoretically, you should be able to just pay for that course. And then, get, and then get the content. Uh, we ran into a little issue there. But again, this is, this is just more of a preview. I like to do a real review by running an actual yeah, course yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, with a set of users. That'd be really have to cool. figure, figure that out, how yeah, we're going to yeah. do that. It may have just been the way we were staging it or whatever, however right. it was that, that it wasn't working. But um, work, This is one that's just kind of yeah. my own kind of craziness uh, in in the WordPress scene it is working with custom post types can be yeah. a bit tiresome. Yeah. Um, and what do I mean by that? It's courses and lessons. And then when you're when you're editing these courses and lessons, you're literally, you know, clicking, waiting for WordPress to load, going down, yeah. scrolling down, mm -hmm. finding the meta boxes within each uh, custom post type. Right. And then when you go to edit another one, you have to go back. Right. Um, you know, <clears throat> it would be great and I'm sure they'll do this eventually because I think what's going to happen is, let's say you had a whole college, yep. a whole university, yeah. a whole elementary school, a yeah. whole public school right. system running on, on this. On the system, yeah. That's a lot of content to manage. Mm -hmm. And although WordPress is a great content management system, it does, has it, it does have its limitations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying that this plugin is limited. It's, they're obviously using WordPress for what it is. Yeah, and they're using it effectively, but... But I'd like to see some kind of advancement in yeah. navigating and in, in the workflow of this data. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tricky because, you know, when you're talking about somebody who's not used to web design or not used to any sort of sort of this thing, or not, not used to WordPress, uh, like a, maybe a potential teacher or employer uh, who's trying to make these lessons for, for people. You know, it's not that it's that difficult to learn, but you have to get over that initial hurdle mm -hmm. uh, of learning how to use the, the interface and then sort of that... Now I have a bunch of students or whatnot. Now I have to go, oh, I really have to do this again, and then I have to do this, and then this, and this, and it's like a domino effect there uh, that may be avoided if, unlike their other plugins, there was a more streamlined, maybe even um, front-facing interface, you know, when mm -hmm. they're logged in to just go and make quick changes. Yeah. Uh, we saw that with Magic Members, where, yep. they, where it was just like its own little unique interface yep. uh, within WordPress, not really leveraging the core WordPress stuff. Now, there's pros and cons to that. 
Especially if you're a hardcore WordPress dev, you're going to say something like, you're an idiot. You know, <laughs> don't veer away from WordPress core. Look, I love WordPress as much as you, but I think that when we're yeah. creating solutions like this, for the end user in mind, these are the things we have to think right. of. Right. Which leads me to what I think will be some of the challenges right. uh, with this plugin. Um, and I think that's the number one thing is folks that will most likely be using this will not be technical at all. Right. These will be the academia folks. Right. Love you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> Talk but, you well. can, but you can get super frustrated when things just simply aren't going your right, way. Right, right, right. I'm sure the guys at Woo know this. I'm sure they tested this mm -hmm. extensively. Right. Which is why it's as, as simple it is to set up. Mm -hmm. um, but things like, you know, viewing the courses, mm -hmm. um, how the courses are displayed. It's just a simple archive list of, of WordPress. All the CSS, CSS is there to edit and modify and make it look however you want. <laughs> But the professor's not going to do that. Yeah. School system probably won't do that unless they're investing in some budget. Yeah. Um, your web marketer, your, your, your more advanced company, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. They understand. It's a piece of software they can get a design from to do it, mm -hmm. preferably us, uh, <laughs> to set that up. Uh, but I think those are some of the limitations that you're going to hit. You're going to have somebody who's not used to using technology like this. They might, you know, they never yeah. even touch e-commerce. Oh, yeah. So they don't even know that there's right. that struggle with like laying right. out a store. They're right. going to say, why, why can't I put the course over here? Right. And why can't I move this around? You're right. going to have that kind of problem. Right. right. And um, they may or may not have to use WooCommerce depending on if it's a paid thing or not, obviously, if they're just going to be providing supplementary content to people. But yeah, I can see where that would be an issue too. Mm -hmm. um, I think the feedback might turn into massive feature creep. <laughs> um, so if anybody's familiar in the web development and design field, I think what's going to happen is they're going to start getting this feedback from all these types of educators and mm -hmm. people who run courses. Mm -hmm. They're going to get so much feedback that I think there's going to start to be some, um, you know, too many features for one set, for one set of uh, individuals oh, and not an, enough for another right. um, unless they do their, their great job of just saying no to everything <laughs> as best as possible <laughs> absolutely all in all it's the best and only yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> that we know of that we know of yeah. uh, education and courseware plugin absolutely. for WordPress if you know one I was say if you folks know of another one yeah uh, let do us let us know. I, I went on a little bit of a rant there, but Mark yeah. asked for it. He wanted yeah. it. The guys at Woo Themes, uh, they do watch our show. Yeah. Um, they're great guys. They're willing yeah. to help us out whenever. Absolutely. So we're just it's giving some, Thanks, some good preview information um, to using this. And I'd really like to get a course running Absolutely. Um, to get people uh, into it. We'll have to do it. Yeah. Um, so let us know. Any other plugins that do this mm -hmm. that you want us to compare it to, let us know. We will continue uh, WordPress uh, image sliders, um, which we started last week. Um, we will continue that again. If you have anything else you want us to compare, somebody sent in an email the other day looking for calendar apps, calendar uh, apps. plugins um, to review. Cool. Um, so that'll be on the docket next. Subscribe? Where do they subscribe? Slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Check us out, guys. Uh, YouTube, hit subscribe. We want to hit 500, if not 5,000. So go ahead and check that off. Uh, and check us out on the blog, slocumstudio.com slash blog. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.